I love Jello. <laughs> Squish him. Gotta get. Ow! We just hit an artery. Clear. I guess it's quite hot. Oh wait. Whoa. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we finally did it! We got the all-new Goose Shifters! And we're ready to get started because, man, we got a lot to go through. We have a total of 11 of them, and it includes the primal ones. So over here, we got our Crocky, um, Rock Jaw. And then over to the other side here, we got our Thrash. And then we covered that in an earlier video, but we're gonna splice a video into here. But we just wanted to introduce it so you get one-stop shopping all your Goose Shifters into one video. And then after that, look, we got the two-pack here. We got the new one, it's Scorpius. Actually, it's kind of a remake. Although this one seems a little bit more attitude no, <laughs> that's cool. So we have a two pack with Scorpius, and then we've got Pantaro, and then we got Rockcha, and we have somebody new, a gal, Bangal, and then we've got the ultra rare Corruptagon. Then we have Rockcha, and then we got Pantaro, and we have Thrash, and then we have Tyro. So guys, let's get started. And the first thing we're gonna start with is the Primal. Then after you get through the Primals, then we'll go to the rest of them. Let's go. Over here we have the Primal Thrash, and then the other one you can collect, Primal Rockcha. Now we'll start with our Primal Thrash first, and you can see right there. It's Goose Shifter time! And you can see that right there it says Primal Thrash Primal Hero Pack. And it stretches up to three times its size, and it comes also with the Chomp Attack. Inside of them, you crush that core, and it changes the goo inside. It shifts, uh, hence the Goose Shifter. And I'm super gooey! And then here's the back. So it's also available Primal Rock Jaw, which we got. Now, in addition to the Primal Rock Jaw and Primal Thrash, you got seven others to collect that they haven't put out just quite yet. And it's available across Series 7. You got Thrash, Blazagon, Rock Jaw, Pantahl, Bangle. Now, Bangle, if I remember right, she's a gal. So she's the first actual original Gujitsu that's a girl. I mean, I know they had the Buzz Lightyear and they had the girl in there, but this one in the actual series itself, when we're on to Series 7, is a girl. And then we got Tyro and the Ultra Rare Corruptagon. Because he's Ultra Rare, you can actually crack and I think he lights up inside too. In fact, be sure to like and subscribe guys because as soon as we get these, we're going to put them out and then you'll be notified. So hit that bell. And then over to the right, you can see that once you crack that inner core, a bunch of goop comes out and it says you have to push down nine times for it to crack. We'll try to crack the nine and then you get the core broken. You start shaking it and you get something goo. And then there's the warning. So you want to make sure you read that. And the maximum stretch is up to 20 inches. And you can see right there, the paw, he's a goo guy. So to open it up on the front, you got a little tag that you can pull and just tear it. We'll see if we can do it. Grab that bendy thing and then just pull it. Oh, oh there we go. So you put that over there and pull. Oh, it feels good. There's the side of him. There's the front of him. And his jaw opens just a little bit. And then you got the fins, the tail, and you got that inner core sitting right there. So let's take a look to see what it looks like on the inside before we crush the core. Oh, you can see the core just floating around. Oh, and look, the core, so it's orange, but you can see part of the core right there has got a slit in it. So it's already got a breach in the core. So if you squeeze it nine times, it's thin enough there that it should pop through that. So shake it up. And all those bubbles. Yay! So that's what you're looking at. So guys, you know, once you pop that in the core, see, it is over. You know, you lose a total collector's items. Like you put it up on eBay and the core has not been crushed. I don't know, should we do roundabouts and things before we crush the uh, core here? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah, there's not much roundabout with him. And how far can he go? I don't know. How would you even capring this dude? Wonder if I can get my thumb underneath here. Uh, can I do this? Will it work? <laughs> well, it went a lot further than I expected, about four or five feet, but yeah, he ain't going anywhere. <laughs> he grabbed by the tail, give him a whiplash here. Ow! God, messing around with him, it now looks like all sudsy foamy. I don't think there's any soap in there. You can take a look at that core before we actually crack it open on the outside of it and start pushing whatever's inside of it up to that split in the mouth. See, look at that. Look at that. We're getting there. And you just keep like, oh man, squeeze nine times. I'm just trying to see if I can pinch it, pop it like a zit and just get all the goo up there. Oh, come on, baby. Look, I've already, oh, it just opened. So, oh, look at that. Oh, that was cool. Did you see that? I just closed it. More goo came out. Oh, that's gurific. That is cool. So let's shake it up. Now it's a different kind of goo, right, guys? So now let's take a look at the goo by squeezing his belly. Oh, that is so beautiful, guys. That is cool. We got a metallic finish. Oh, man, that's just beautiful. I love the metallic finish. So that's awesome. I love our thrash. 
go ahead and like and subscribe. So here, let's do our next one right here. Our Chocodile. That'd be great if uh, Moose came out with something that was edible, you know, crushing your core and all the feeling came out. Kind of like a hostess, what they used to have with Twinkies, whatever. We just saw the Minions Rise of Gru. And it's like, get out of my room, you oversized Twinkie. <laughs> They do look like oversized Twinkies. So there we go. We got our rock jaw. There you go. It says Primal Rock Jaw, Primal Hero Pack. Stretches up three times its size. It's got the Chomp Attack 2, Crush the Core. And in this core, you got little beads coming out, which if I know my beads, once they get out and they absorb a lot of water, they'll turn into orb bead and transform the goo. And it says he's super squishy. Okay, let's take a look at the back then. And of course, then the other one that you don't have, that would be also available, Primal Thrash. And you can see that once you crack it over there, it says after nine times, and you get, there you go. It says wait four hours, okay? You gotta wait four hours, because why? You gotta have the time for the little Orbeez to actually absorb the water and then grow. That's gonna be awesome. And look, he's got a skull. He's evil. And you got the same Magnificent Seven that you can collect. So a total with these seven, if you get them all, including the Ultra Rare, which will be hard to find. And then you got the other two, Primal Thrash and Primal Rockjaw. And why are they Primal? Because they spawn from some cesspool, gone from a little like polywog up into like something that's still more um, horizontal. Then after that, they actually evolve and they can like walk on their feet and then they can talk. So keep that in mind. You guys want the goo guy or the evil guy? If you have to choose one, which one would you choose? But in the comments below, I really want to know. That'd be cool if you have to choose between your two babies. I, I get both. So let's go ahead and open them up. Ah, now time for the reveal. So we've got a little tab over here on the tail of Croc Rock. And so let's go ahead and pull that. Okay, we're just gonna do it. Nope, see, <laughs> that was a horrific opening. <laughs> I was a little bit impatient. I really want to see my rock job, baby. I mean, look at that. Oh my goodness, he's got his little like um, spine scale. I mean, look, you turn it this way. If you could put him more square, he'd look like a set of luggage. That looks awesome. They really, and it feels goo, guys. And look at his feet. Oh, and there's his belly. And there's his front. And there's his side. How far can we open this? Oh, look at that. You get more openage than you do with Thrash. Really, you can't give me more. I really have to work him to get him that you know, far open, but still super cool. Look at the bottom of his uh, necklace. I thought it was a bow tie, but it's actually a tooth. And then if you look at Rock Jaw, it's all chains. He's just bound in chains, kind of like Charles Dick in a Christmas Carol. Woo! This is what you do when you turn evil. Woo! Change. And he won't. Will he change? Yeah, oh yeah, he will. We'll shift him. We'll shift him from what color is he? Let's take a look. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that. So it's a yellow inner goo. I mean, with the green skin, it could be something a little bit off color to make it look even more so yellow, but I still love it. That's awesome. Let's shake it. Oh yeah, you can hear it just like uh, Mountain Dew. Now I want to crack it open, that inner core, and you can see it right there. See that? There's its mouth. It's already like splitting. Just got to pop it. Yeah, it's coming out. Oh, it's coming. Oh, you going to do it? I'm not going to take nine times. <clears throat> One, two. Well, this will keep kids uh, busy for hours. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. I heard it pop. Man, that took some finger muscles. Let me see. Oh, there's actually dye in it, too. Okay, here we go. It's gonna come. I'm gonna give it a squeeze now. It's coming out. Oh, look at those little rock orbies for our rock jaw. Oh, now it's changing it. See, look at that. It's changed. Woo! <laughs> Hold on. I gotta get all the orbies out. I don't want anyone in there left. Oh, look at that. There's more dark green dye coming out. Dye, dye, dye. <laughs> We just killed the alien inside. Now, you know, kind of like Venom, just where he takes over Spooderman. Toxic alien. And now, he used to be an evil dude. Now he's a goo guy because we changed his inner goo. Let me shake it up so I can get everything out, okay? I want to make sure all the Orbeez get out. So when the Orbeez start absorbing the water, I don't have anything inside this uh, core. Let's take a look at now the new from yellow to... That's really dark. That's a beautiful dark green. I don't know how they did it. I'm with the yellow and the green and how it mixed, but it looks super cool. Now, where are the Orbeez? Let's, <laughs> they don't all float down to the tail. You see the tail? Okay, here we go. See, there's our Orby dude. All those, we gotta wait, it says four hours. And we didn't even do roundabouts. Now we're gonna do it, and now we're gonna get it. He did really good on the roundabouts. He really did. You're gonna like give him a capring? I don't know if you can really capring him. Come on, Rock Jaw, you rock! 
Yeah, you maybe went a half a foot further than thrash, you know. So guys, which one do you like? Cereal, you want to see what it's like after four hours? I'm gonna make you guys wait. Here we go. Okay. There's your four hours right here. <laughs> make me just get so anxious when I have to do it. Look at that. Now there's the Orvies. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Those Orvies. Ah, just, that's super cool, guys. And the Orbeez, I mean, it looked like it was blue when I cracked it open, I mean, right here. Yeah, if you try to look at the color of the Orbeez, I mean, they look blue to me. But they're so dense and dark until they actually blow up like this. That's cool, now that he's super squishy. Oh man, that's, I love the Orbeez. I love the metallic squirrels, but the, the color green that they have in a rock jaw is super beautiful, guys. I'm telling you, out of all the goos, you actually have to crack your codes, break some eggs to get something really goo fun. Because I don't think anybody's going to leave theirs just clear. Go ahead and put in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Let me know. And hit that bell so you'll be notified when we collect the rest of the Magnificent Seven. That's right. That's Pantaro. He's got his inner goo. He's ready to shift. He's ready to break. And you can too. Be sure to hit that bell. Thanks, guys, for watching. Woo! So there you go, guys. We got the Primal Thrash and the Primal Rock Jaw. Super cool. One's evil, one's goo. And why am I wearing this Halloween shirt? Because we're getting close to Halloween, guys. Might as well celebrate because when Halloween comes, you guys shift and a scary costume. Woo! Anyways, just kind of looking forward to it. So let's get going. Let's do our Pantaro. You can see it's the original Goo Goo Shifters. It's the Pantaro Hero Pack. It stretches up three times its size, as uh, I assume all these do. And you crush the core, and oh, that's cool, because in the core, it looks like it's got a metallic feeling and it transforms the goo, so it just goes throughout the entire body. That's awesome. And it says he's super oozy. Man, that'd be cool if he had one of those guns. And oozy. Okay, then on the back. You can see the paw, he's a goo guy. And then it goes through the steps where you have to pinch the core. It boists open after nine times. And then you can go ahead and mush him up. That's cool. And then you can see you got seven to collect with unique goo feelings available across series seven. And then the max stretch is 20 inches. Nice, let's go ahead and open him up. Uh, let's see, oh, they got a tag down here, a little extension of the plastic. So if you just wanna like flick that up, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save the package, but we're gonna do it. Okay, not too bad. Here we go, first look guys. Oh, look. <laughs> The blue ball, right? Okay. It's like he's possessed with some sort of like, you know, aliens. You see that where it's like, <laughs> that'd be funny if they actually had an alien come out. Well, the goo's with it. Just have a little creature just pop out too. But man, Paint Taro, I want to say Paint Taro because remember the first series? Guys, got to go back and watch that. When we actually cut him open, <sighs> man, he had some sort of synthetic paint. That's what it smelled like. That was nasty. And so you can see his paw right there. He's a goo guy and he's his black belt. <laughs> I just do it, you know, as part of like martial arts training is by hitting that button, using that finger, ringing that bell. Oh, kind of cool. He's got his little necklace. Now, I look at his necklace. I just want to see if you can turn his neck. Oh, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> and look, see that blue ball in there? So if I turn him upside down, the blue ball floats up. I love his outfit. Super cool, guys. And let's squeeze him just to see what we're dealing with on the inside. There's the core. That's awesome, you know. Let's shake it. It kind of looks like a little bit of soda, soda pop. And you guys can see there, you got uh, on that side, a little smile there. Well, that's what it's going to come out of. Should be super thin to be able to boist it. So I'm going to try it, guys. Here we go. Oh, you can see it. It's coming. I'm going to do it. Pop. Ooh, <laughs> I thought I was going to get camera mom. Look at that. Hurry before, when it comes out, see that? It's already filling out. Oh, okay. It's just so, it's already silver. It's hard to see, guys. I'm going to try to get here on this side. Okay, oh, you see that? See that that silver was coming out. Okay, we'll just squish it like that. Gotta shake, get shake, get shake, get shake, get shake it. And now, I think we got all the silver out of that core. Because once you bust these open, resale value. <laughs> it, it, it gone. Okay, you ready for this? Here we go. Let's kind of see what kind of silver we got. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That's cool. That ah, blue core is kind of in the way, but I don't know, maybe they could have made a face on that thing, like some sort of alien thing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of creepy out. Yeah, you know, I'm just thinking outside the goo. So here we go. We're gonna give him a stretch and do some roundabouts and see if we can break more than just the core. One, two. Oh man, he really going goo. Man, that last part was so, all just. Pantaro, pull your black belt up, man. How embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. You can pull the black belt off. We'll leave it on. I mean, you can see it just comes for easy. Look at that. I wonder if we actually shook it up some more so we get more goo. Now we pretty much got it all. You can squeeze that core. 
Oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it just made the sucking sound as it pushed all the air from one side to the other. Oh, that's just cool. Okay, try again. Oh, that was fun. Oh my gosh, I'm having fun with Paintaro. Guys, what do you think? We got to do a review on these. We actually come open so you can see it with before it's broken and then actually could open the core. Oh my goodness, that'd be cool. Okay, here we go. Paintaro, how far can you go? Oh, that one, man, he had a lot of stretchability. If I had longer arms went further back, he probably would have gone 40 feet. He went about 30. Okay, we got our doll stand. Let's go ahead and put Pantaro there. He looks cute. I love the goose shifters. That's just fun. And the thing is, it's just a one-time thing because once you push, pop it, you know, you get just one for the fam. Everybody's like, yeah, I want to pop it. I want to pop it. So you got to have more than one, right? Okay, there we go. Who's next? Who's next? They're all shaking. Not me. Don't blow my inner core. It's like, yeah, we're going to give you a thrashing. You can see right there, Thrash Hero Pack, uh, and he's super goopy, and you crush the core, and it's got blue goo coming out. That's the funnest part. If you can pinch that and see it, then to get the camera in, it's a little bit hard. We'll try to do both. And of course, you know, then on the back gives you a little bit more detail there. And you can see the paw. He's a goo guy. And let's find the tab. So let's go ahead and pull that. Uh, Moose, you're doing good. I mean, I can just easily flop that back down. It looks, you know, brand new. Yeah, with the green shorts, Mr. Green Shorts, he ought to glow in the dark. Maybe he's the, the delivery guy. I'm Mr. Green Shorts, I'm here. Ding dong, take your package. If not, I'll do all over you. Should we just take this off? Do it. And we can see everything. And let's go ahead and give it a squeeze. You, oh, look at that. I was going to squeeze that. I was going to hurt. Oh, he's got a tooth, you know. So the tooth fairy's going to come by. <laughs> take his tooth and give him like a new core after we crush this one. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. That's just cool. That's just fun to, you know, I wonder if you ought to have two. One where you could just, you know, squeeze it like this and just go, man, those are the days before they got crushed. Little Billy next door came over and crushed it. I'll get him. Now, this one doesn't produce any fizzies or bubbles, okay? So that's cool. And that core looks awesome. So I'm going to find the mouth, the yapper, and then I'm just going to squeeze it, okay? Yeah, totally aliens. Gets a little bit hard. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here we go. I got to get... That's gotta hurt. Look, you can see the swirl he's going around. I'm gonna try to squeeze it out a little bit more. Okay, watch. Let me see if I can squeeze it. Oh, there it is on this side. On me, on me, on me. Oh, look how, look how cool that is. Right there. You probably can't see it because of the shadows. I'm just gleeding, spitting because I'm salivating because it's so goo. Okay, let's see how pretty it is. That His back fin just keeps digging into my hand whenever I want to squeeze him. So let's do it from the front. Oh, wow, blue metallic. That's awesome, guys. I love that. Look at how blue that is. That is cool. I love that, guys. Here we go. Roundabouts. <sighs> okay, he should be more mixed now. That's what I'm stinking. Okay, nice. All right, let's go ahead and give him a capring. These stretch really good, guys. My arms are like not long enough, and so I don't think they'll go far. Oh, geez. Yeah, I can't do this. Unless I pull up and I kind of cinch up, clutch up just a little bit on his arm so I can get a tighter pull on it, then I'll fly far. So that one was, uh, okay, I, was, I said 30 feet, maybe it's more like 25. So there you go, guys. Now you know what Goopy feels like. Oh, this almost sounds like Goofy. Oh, oh, they ought to make a Disney characters like Donald Duck and, you know, Mickey. Ha ha, I love you. Like and subscribe. Don't bust my inner core. So the next one is Tyro. You see it's a Tyro Hero Pack, and you crush the core, and it looks like you got beads coming out. What are these? That's going to be awesome, man. But it says down below he's super squishy. So on the back, after you crush the core, these little things come out, and it's got a four hour on the clock there. So you got to wait four hours to get those Orbeez to absorb all the water and become super what? Squishy. Oh, and he's got a paw, so he's a goo guy. All right, so let's go ahead and open them up, and uh, there's the uh, tab right there, okay? So I just got to bend that. Ooh, okay, let's go for the bottom. That way you don't tear much at the top, okay? Tyro. Just the skin looks super cool, guys. Uh, the, the light purple, lavender purple. Pfft, so beneath us, lavender, lovey. Um, he's got his uh, necklace yellow, and then he's got his uh, doga, doga. Well, it doesn't go all the way up around him, his uh, loincloth here. And we can take that off. And <laughs> it's always cute where they have a little hole so his little tail can come out. I mean, that's so, like, accommodating. Oh, did you guys see the back? Oh, there's the back. He's got spikes. He's got a spine, guys. He'll fight you. That's cool. He's got these little things. And then if he started elbowing you, ow, 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 ow. So let's take a look at his inner goo. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, frothy. And there's the green core. 
Okay, let's go ahead and find the uh, center. Here we go, guys. Now, with these beads, uh, when we do a primal rock jaw, it's hard to get this thing to pop, but we're gonna do it. It was hard, <laughs> and it is hard. Maybe I'll squeeze it from the other way. No, that ain't gonna work. I gotta squeeze it sideways here. Should we just like tear it open maybe? Will that work? Yeah. Or stick my finger in there? Maybe that'll work. Stick my finger in the in the mouth. 20 hours later. <laughs> guys, you wanna like mess with somebody? Have them do this. If you guys get greater success, let me know, put in the comments, man. I'm like, oh. Fingers. Maybe if I push it on the table, maybe that'll work. Oh man, I'm using all fingers. But we sure made a lot of froth out of him. Wow. I'm gonna like push from behind, maybe behind the core, and see if I can crack open, split it. Oh. I think because the, the rubbery stuff on the outside, you got these Orbeez that are small on the inside. So you just push the Orbeez around, give it a good massage. Oh yeah, there you go. There's not enough pressure to actually pop that, that thinner membrane open. All right, we're gonna use our uh, Maleficent uh, chalice. I'm <laughs> gonna see if we can squish him. We'll crack um, Tyro open before we ever get to the core. I'm going in with the finger and I'm gonna massage that center mouth. Oh, he's got a mouth on him. That core, oh, something's coming out. Oh, get here, pull back. Hey, can you see it good? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, see that? Orby's coming out. Ugh. You gotta get some of that swirly stuff around it here. There we go. I took my finger and I stuck it right in it, that mouth right there in the core. I just kept pushing it and held it and pushed it, then moved it around and kept ripping it and digging my finger, digging it, moving it. I just um... Oh, wow. That's cool. Look at that. The shape is out. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. We gotta let it drop into the water and oh, it's like ah, we just hit an artery. Clear. He's alive. Look at that. Okay, now I gotta make sure we get all the Orbeez out so it can fill up every end. Here we go. Now, let's see. Usually, let's see in the tail. There's some Orbeez right there. Okay, mm -hmm. little beads, and you can see it also over here in his arm. Yeah. So we got him out, and the blue color is super cool. Okay, now let's give it a squeeze. Okay, now that color looks Kool-Aid. Cool. It looks awesome. I love the blue color. I'd love to see what the Orbeez look like after they take some of that on, you know. What do you guys think? Here, I'll get you some Orbeez right there. They look like blue, don't they? That's awesome. So we'll put him to the side for four hours. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> we have other videos to watch. And then when four hours is done, come back to this one. Okay, now to make sure he's thoroughly mixed. Shaken, not stirred. Let's go ahead and uh, roundabouts. That was a smooth one. Wow. And it went the other way. <laughs> that was a smooth one. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't like vibrating or anything. All right, Capring power. Cinch up a little bit, and instead of going back in the hand, I'm gonna go to his elbow. And see if I can get a little bit tauter. Oh yeah, and then that one went uh, 30, 35 feet. Cool, we'll put him over here. Next, uh, let's do, okay, let's do our Blazagon. Now you see it's Blazagon, the hero pack, and when you crush the core, red goo comes out. That's awesome. Uh, but he's super gooey. You know, then on the back, you wanna see that we've got the paw, means he's a goo guy. So let's find the tab, it's over here. Pull that one off. This is nice, the way that it comes off of that tab. Okay, so there you go, there's Blazagon. It'd be cool if he actually had a chomp attack and there's his uh, hairdo, his yellow mop. Oh, and then on the front, I just saw it now, we got the paw, he's a goo guy. Oh, I just noticed this, you see his little uh, knee caps right there? Little uh, fires, that's cool. And so we can go ahead and take off his yellow shorts. And you can switch him over with these other guys, I assume. Well, definitely with Tyro, because he's got a tail. And he got his spikes on the back. That's fun. And spikes on his shoulders. That uh, means he's a general, you know. A three-spike general. Let's go ahead and give him a squeezy-weezy. It's kind of funny because he's red, but it looks a little bit more pink now. And there's the yellow core. And do we get any, like... No, this one's pretty, like, tame. Don't get any fizzies, but let's go for the core. Now, this one ought to be easy because... You know, it's not Orbeez. So I should be able to pop it right here, right? Just with easy squeezy peasy. Oops. <laughs> oh, okay. There it comes. Oh, so you gotta pinch the back side to really pop that up, but it says to squeeze it nine times. Okay, fine, we'll try it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at that. 
seven, eight, nine. Oh, follow directions. <laughs> Bow your head and shame. Adventure fun dad. Yes. <laughs> it actually worked after nine squeezes. Man, that's cool. Look at that. So it's bleeding. It's coming out. Oh, he's bleeding. It looks like kind of alien yellow, like he's got tapeworms or something in him. I don't know. I'll squeeze it a few times to get that, you know, circulation going here with the color into his goo. Wow. Ah, my thumbs, man. They're tuckered out. Take a rest, boys. Now let's see what it looks like with the metallic swirls. Oh, man. For a moment, it reminded me of some sort of candy. Strawberry. I don't know, it just looks like strawberry to me. I'm just craving, you know, middle of summer here, guys. I just want a strawberry shake. Not just regular strawberries, it's gotta be processed with lots of sugar. He's my favorite right now. He's totally my favorite. I love the red goo. That is totally awesome, guys. Okay, here we go. And to really give him stirred up, let's do roundabouts. Oh, man. I don't believe a goo. Ooh, he had attitude. He had sauce on that one. Wow, that was cool. And then see how far he goes. Let me try it, if I can do it right. Oh, pff, yeah, that would have been 35 feet. Just hit that. Woo, blaze it, gone! All right, let's go ahead and put him in the Hall of Goof uh, Adventure Fun fame. Oh, that's, we're running out. Okay, um, I think we're gonna do the two pack right now. Let's go for two. It's the Versus. Sounds like the next door neighbor. Hey, welcome Versus. We're out to have a nice lunch. It's the Versus pack. Exclusive Liquid Gold Pantaro versus Shadow Orb Scorpius. Scorpius, man, he's like, I think he was season one, series one. Man, that guy's hard to find. He's almost as hard to find as Frostbite. So if you can get him here, that'd be super cool, guys. So you can see you can crush the core and it transforms the goose. So dark blue, dark purple. And then for our Liquid Gold Pantaro, you can see once you burst the core, it's gonna be liquid gold. It's gonna be metallic gold. That's gonna be super cool. And then for our Pantaro, he's gonna be super goopy and then for our scorpius it's going to be super squishy okay and then on the back so there you go it shows it you gotta squeeze it nine times for scorpius and wait four hours for the orbies man i think he's gonna look super cool he may be my new number one and then liquid gold oh that's gonna be super cool too man they're just getting awesome with these and you got the skull which means our scorpius he's evil and then, you know, when you got the paw, hey, high five, high paw, he's goo. Just open him right here. There's the tab right there. And oh, this is a big pull. Okay, cool. Let's do our pantajo. Okay, well, there you go. You know, see the difference. Love it, learn it, like, and subscribe it. I like the gold pantaro so far. And then you got the goo paw. He's got his black belt, so you know, you can take that off. Why not? We didn't do it in the other one, but we'll do it with him. Oh, there's his back. Got to see the back. I just love his claws, you know, he's ready to claw you. And let's go ahead and do it in three, two, one. Okay, there's the blue core. And so this one shouldn't be too hard. We're going to do the nine time thing, you know. I wonder who was at the moose factory. It's just saying nine times. Oh, that was seven. Okay, get back to work. <laughs> got to test it again. Where's the, um... oh, it's already broken. Man, that didn't, I just barely touched it. Man, it's like my feelings, it's so sensitive. Please like and subscribe. Look at that. That was one tap. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh, okay, so you can see it right there. That looks cool, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see part of the swirls, but let's do it this way. Here we go, three, two, one. Gold, that's beautiful, guys. Silver's got its uniqueness, but gold just, man, it just really pops for me. And it pops for you too, but I just love gold. So let's do some roundabouts, get him some more uh, mixies here. He's not gonna go too far. He hasn't stretched. <laughs> okay, let's go for the gold here, Pentar. You take us all the way to, well, 40 feet. He did, uh, almost 45. Guys, we just thought we'd show you all the Maleficent cups that we have, all four the same, obviously. And it's really cool, the design. In fact, I was just gonna like put Pantaro here like he's in the hot tub, you know. Oh, decorations, Halloween. I'm kind of getting into the spirit of things, guys. Call me a, an early uh, starter on this stuff, but I think it'll be super fun. <laughs> They're really cool to drink out of too. And if you guys wanted to see a close up, I mean, why not here? So here's uh, Maleficent where she's like throwing her arm up and it's some fire before she turns into a dragon. There's her headdress. And then there's, she is as the dragon, which looks super cool. And then there's the raven. Right, said never more. I love it. And it's got these little purple uh, stones and the green fire down below. I mean, wow. Disney did an awesome job on these uh, chalices, these cupped, uh, it's, you know, stainless steel inside. So man, have fun at your party, guys. That's cool. So all I was gonna do is just gonna put them in here, you know, why not? With our goos, you never know what to expect with adventure fun. That's what makes us so like adventure and fun.
I, I don't, what do you guys think? Never hire me for your being an interior decorator. I just go crazy like this, man, but look how colorful it is. It's Boonamus. All right. Okay, guys, now we got to get our Scorpius out, right? Oh, wow. Oh, man, look at this. He's got his pinchers. Yay. <laughs> I love the pinchers. He's got the evil skull, so he's an evil dude. He's not goo. And then uh, what are these little antennas? He gets good reception there. can tell where you're at. And then he's got like, these are cool too, man. Maybe those are stingers because when I look on the back, I just see his tail. It looks like it's got a little uppity to it. Like he can sting himself. Ow, ow, ow. Why sting yourself? Ow, ow, ow. He has to get up there and really, whoa. Okay, so then there's the back. I love his yellow eyes. That looks cool. That's a little bit creepy, man. He did really good on Scorpius. I'm so far really impressed. And let's take off his belt. Let's give him a squeeze here. Oh, blue. It was a purple skin. Yeah, fooled me. That's a pretty blue. Let's give it some sweat. Oh yeah, it is uh, fizzing a little bit. Okay, so let me go and find that crack. Okay, it's right here. So let's see if squeezing this nine times is gonna release these Orbeez, okay? I'm telling these Orbeez, man. They're a curse. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pinch it and get my finger into the hole and just kind of like rub it around. Oh, there it is, it broke, it broke. Okay, you see that, that the dark there, ink yeah. right there? Oh, here it comes out. Oh, you can't see it, so, oh, it's just, oh man, that's so dark in there. This is cool, guys, watch this. Oh, wow, it used to be light blue, now it's like, I can't even tell. Yeah, if you look at the top of the bubbles, it's really dark blue, deep dark blue. And it's got Orbeez in here, guys. So did I get all the Orbeez out? Oh, they're here they are, okay, in the foot. So they float down to the foot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you guys. Let's see, tell me if you guys see anything. Yeah, we can see. What, what can you see? I wanna see. No, you can't, not without me. I'll just have to play the video back later, watch my own show. <laughs> Swirl it around a little bit. There we go. Yay! I'm glad you guys see something. But what I really like about him is he's really unique. I mean, just the skin. I mean, he just kind of pops. Maybe these are tasers, you know. <laughs> you can just go to town. You can grab them with the pinchers by their noses. Ow, 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 ow. I'm the house, boys. Let's do the stretches. Man, that's really dark blue, guys. I can see it up against the bright light. It's really dark blue. And the Orbeez are starting to grow pretty fast, so maybe uh, in less than four hours. Oh, wow, look at his skin. Man, it's super cool. <laughs> I saw a camera mom get really close. I thought if I just moved about a centimeter, <laughs> I smacked it out. You see when I stretch him, look how beautiful his like, look at that. Um, and it goes down there. That's cool. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh man. Yeah, well he bounced. So I would say 45 feet, man. Wow, that's good, Scorpius. Sting it. Man, I really love Scorpius. As far as the outer skin goes right now, he's number one to me. He's super cool. The inner goo, it's gotta be blazing on. I love the red, man. It's always been a fan like at Christmas time, you know, the red lights, the deep dark red at night, just kind of a soft glow. It makes you feel like you wanna go, don't go to sleep now. We got more goo for you. Tyro, you gotta be uh, demoted here. I think, you know, evil dude's gotta go into an evil cup here. <laughs> There we go. Cool. All right, next, we got our evil chocodile. That'd be cool if it was chocolate. You could actually eat the chocolate, you know. The inner goo is just uh, cream filling. <laughs> so one time goo. Rock jaw, crocodile. You see it says rock jaw, the hero pack. And he's super mushy. And when you crush the core, he's gonna get the green Orbeez coming out. That's awesome. So now we figured out with the Orbeez, you know, nine times with this. I mean, oh, my fingers are like aching because I don't know if all you guys are gonna collect all 11 of them and do it all at once. And you may take it like a day or two. But this is cool. And we figure out that if you just get your finger into that smiley part of the core, it'll pop. So that's what we're gonna do here, okay? Oh, and then on the back, he's uh, got a skull, he's evil. It's been four hours to wait because we got Orbeez. Let's go ahead and bend and tear. Oh, that was an easy one. Nice, thank you, Mr. Crocky. Crocky. He's got the black chain around him and then the evil uh, skull, that's cool. Man, if I didn't know any better, this is already Halloween, you know? This is cool. Look at those spikes, that's awesome. Are they actually like, you know, the goo doesn't go all the way up, but kind of part way a little bit. That's awesome, guys. Let's take off his dud so we can see him. All right, let's give him a squeeze, three, two, one. Hey, that's cool, yellow. I love yellow, Juno. Oh man, that is cool. 
Oh, that's awesome, guys. It looks like actually that little core looks like a wasp nets, you know. That's some bad juju in there, man. Do not open that up. All these little bees come out. Orbeez. You know what? I'd leave it just like that. I'd love that. That's just super cool. But we got to find out what's inside, guys. We got to see what's inside that core. Okay, for Orbeez this one, I'm going to go ahead and try to do it nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm doing the work of baby stepping. Maybe it's just me. Maybe my, you know, hands and get my finger in there, into the mouth, and I'm gonna start rubbing it in there and around. Oh, I think it popped it. It did, oh, I yeah. did. Oh yeah, oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring it to you, camera mom. You can, look at, you can see two, three little Orbeez there. The shoemaker, the candlestick maker, and I don't know what that rhyme goes, but man, there's three of them there. Okay, it's gonna come out. Yeah, the green. <laughs> Alien just burst open. Now he's contaminated, man. That is so cool. That is so fun when you actually see it, guys. Man, this is awesome. Wow. And you know what? It changed the color inside to green, which is, I, I assume, is going to be super cool. Oh, look at that. It just spurts up against that. Yeah. And just keep squeezing that cord to get all those Orbeez out. Okay. Man, Moose, you guys did super cool on these. The colors are awesome. Let's go ahead and give it a squeeze and see what it looks like now. Darker green. I love that yellow, but that dark green looks cool, too. I wonder, you see those uh, little uh, Orby balls floating around? That's cool. I love it, guys. That's awesome. You know, I wonder if it's just gonna turn out to be like his primal brother. Yeah, brother, man. <laughs> but that one's cool, guys. So I wonder if it's gonna be the exact same. I do not know. Ooh, 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 there we go. Now you can see those Orbeez floating down. That's cool, man. I love it. I bet they're the same. So you're not going to miss out much probably, but we'll have to wait four hours before we find out. Um, but which one, guys, do you like? I mean, you got the uh, chomp attack. That's what makes that cool, too. But this one looks awesome. Here we go. Roundabouts. Oh, my thumbs are getting tired. I can't hold these guys. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay, let's go bring him, man. Let's do this ting. Oh, yeah, he might be able to do... My thumbs are so weak now, I can't even grasp it. At least I have opposable thumbs. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, that was a bit hard. Hit part of the treadmill and, yeah, the grip and the thumb thing. So, yeah, that one went uh, 25 feet. Okay, crikey. You're an evil dude. You're going to be in a Maleficent cup. And then we'll just put our paint taro here next to his doppelganger dude friend. They look cool. I like them. Uh, the gold inner filling is cool. The outer one, I think, uh, the white. It actually looks pretty cool. Now we're getting down to the first girl in this series. Yes, the first girl of all the goos. I mean, in this series here, seventh series of the original goo jitsus, is Bengal. And you can see right there, it's the Bengal Hero Pack. And you can see when you crush the core, it looks like pink goos coming out. And then it says she's super gooey. And then on the back, She's a goo guy, she's got the paw. And then you can see when you do the nine time squeeze, it pops open and it just fills it up. And I'm, I'm excited to see what kind of goo she has in here. So let's go ahead and open her up. Where's the tab? Oh, this one's over here on the top. That's something new. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here so I can keep as much of the package as I can. There, cool, looks nice. Okay, and this one's interesting. So she's got, instead of just a black belt that goes around, it comes all the way up in front. Oh, there's the uh, goo paw, right? I love her little swirly hair. That's cute. And she looks like she's got some sass in her, right? So the first girl in the series here, what do you goo think? And then there's the back. And I'm going to see if I can take off her black belt. I mean, she looks cool. I'm glad that they actually have a moose put a girl in here. And this one I think is going to look super cool, guys. Actually, in some ways, she looks a little bit better without that black thingy in front of her. But okay. So and there's the back. And then let's take a look. And there's the blue ball. Let's give it a squeeze in three, two, one. Okay, it's very clear. Give it a few more squeezes, and it does get a little bit frothy. Uh, let me find the uh, slice. There it is. Okay, nine times, right? One. Oh, that was gonna do. <laughs> Two. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. This one looks cool on the inside, but that neon pink, I mean, it looks hot pink, but what'd you expect from a girl? That's awesome. Okay, what do you think of her now? It looks better, doesn't she? And she looks like she's really ready for a fight. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, that's cool. That's awesome, guys. I love that pink color. Oh my gosh, I'm debating right now. Processing, processing. Is it Blazagon or her? That's not my new favorite inner goo. Oh man, bring out your inner goo child. Look at that. 
is so unique. They've never done this before, ever. Never seen this before. This is so cool, guys. I really gotta do a comparison here, guys. That red is very alluring, but that pink pops. The swirlies, if it wasn't for the swirlies, man, I, I, I probably wouldn't be as like intrigued, but the swirlies make it awesome. The metallic finish. Ooh, that's smooth and that was huge. Oh my gosh, this is one of the smoothest gujitsus I've ever like rotated. Guys, I love it. Girls, you may like it. If not, well, I goo. Now let's see how far, come on, we gotta take out the, the bros, the brother in here. Come on, girl. Yeah, she did, yeah, she did. She's she's uh, 40, not quite 45 feet, uh, but just over 40. Yes, girl, you go! Let's see what she looks inside, the Maleficent cup. Uh, she looks goo. Okay, the one I've been waiting for, don't know if you guys have been, it's the Ultra Rare, it's Corruptagon. Now you can see Ultra Rare, Corruptagon, when you smash the core, he lights up. And it says he's super squishy. And then on the back, and he's got a skull, so he's evil. You squeeze him, and it looks like he's already filled with Orbeez. And then you just give him a nice smack, then it actually turns on a, his inner light. Which, as soon as you do that, he's not an Ultra Rare evil anymore. Because the light comes on in him. He's got to see the light. He comes to the light. He's a goo guy now. So, hey, if you guys don't want to turn him, just don't smack that light. There's the tab right there. Here we go, Ultra Rare. Okay, I'm turning it over more. Okay, there we go. There's our Corruptagon. That's cool. He's got the little spikes coming out of him, red, purple. He's got his jagged arm. It kind of reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that guy, he's got these like spikes, you know, on his shoulders, I think. And then there's the evil right here, insignia, on his loincloth. And then he's got some tusks. Uh, and may I assign you guys a task to do? Go ahead and like and subscribe. Oh, here, Goria. So on the back, I just noticed his tail. That's cool. A little like, I don't know what it is. Maybe a little flame tail. There's his back. It just looks like a warthog. Mr. Warts. <laughs> a warthog that's been mutated. That's cool. Let's go ahead and take off his shorts. You ready for the squeeze, guys? Three, two, one. Oh, that's cool. Blue Orbeez. Oh yeah, oh I didn't see that. Okay, so there's the uh, core there, the light, and we're supposed to slap it hard. It, it, how does it say, you're supposed to like, hmm, maybe we'll just, uh... it'd be cool if there's a button you can push it. You know, that'd be nice. You're supposed to tap it or smack it. Maybe just shock it. It says you squeeze it, right? And it just says you're supposed to tap it. I don't know, maybe we'll do some roundabouts. Maybe that'll wake him up. <laughs> so here we go, we're stretching. You see the blue Orbeez, that's super cool. That's pretty smooth. A lot of blue Orbeez in the foot. That was cool. Maybe a Capring will get him to light up his life. Go for the Capring. Oh man, he, he beat Bangle, man. He's gone, it was 45 feet easy. Oh, Corrupted God, now make sure that we smack the wall there that his light comes on. We'll find out. We'll be right back. Ooh. It shows a picture of his hand and just like smacking it. Well, these are going to be ultra rare. Nobody want them. <laughs> okay. It'd be weird if we had a lemon. You guys are just like doing this at home going, oh, it lights up, man. I don't know what your deal is. There might be a metal piece that's just sitting there either waiting to complete the circuit when he smacks it into play. Hooray for the red, white, and goo. I don't know, guys. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe I overdid it. Maybe we got a lemon. And you're supposed to smack it and something lights on, but it's not working. So we're going to try the second one, guys, the ultra rare. We hope this one works. So here we go, guys, and maybe it's just all in the wrist and I just don't have it. Or like I said, we may have a lemon. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to slap it against the hand. It ain't working. Oh man, did Moose totally fail on this? Big F for Moose, the first one ever. Okay, we just uh, tore open the Corruptagons, but in the meantime, we got four more. We really want to make sure we did our homework. And maybe it's just me not smacking them right, or is it really the batteries? We got one hypothesis, and I'll tell you that at the end, if none of these work, okay? So let's go ahead and try these. Let's open up this guy right here. You'd think at least we'd get one that would light up, right? I'm not seeing it. 
You know, it's supposed to be like those balls that you smack and they light and they start strobing all around. And I think that's the intent of this, but yeah, we smack the table with these things. It's not working. Okay, let's go for number two. Well, of total six, right? Oh, oh wait, whoa. That actually has lights that are on. Yeah, I just took it out of the package. I didn't smack it. And you got, you see those two little, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You see those two little lights? Well, there it is, glowing in the dark. Two eyes like Cujo. Hey, coming to get you. Very dim lights. And I don't even know if they're supposed to strobe. They ought to probably turn off at some point because may wear out our corrupted gun, but who knows? We hope to find out and get some answers from Moose soon. Okay, well, that one we'll put in like, it works, but it's probably been working ever since, I don't know how long. Oh, we got two left. Okay, is this one already on? I don't see it, so let's go ahead and open up this one. Okay, I wanna make sure, let me take a look, and it's not on. I'm smacking it, I'm abusing it, beating it up, and the battery's kinda of just flipping all over the place. It's not even secure inside the core. I wanna see if I can just, up to this point, either works or it doesn't. And you see they're completely on or it's, Okay, dead, last one. And guys, we got these from all over the country. We got them from like Washington, California, back east, I think, Ohio. Um, wow. Last one. Let me find the core, make sure it's not already on. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> yeah, here goes nothing. <laughs> Come on, Corrupticon. Show us that you're not really corrupt. Try this. Yeah, it's just something is really, really wrong with these things. Okay, I beat it up pretty good. And is this one still working at all? Just staying, yeah, this one's staying on, but it's so damn. Let me go ahead and finish up with the other three that we had with Orbeez. And you know, like Tyro, this is what he looks like now once he's all filled up. And you can actually see, it looks kind of greenish from that core in there, still snotty oozing out, but here we go, here's, there we go, blue. That looks cool. I love Tyro's Orbeez, blue Orbeez. It's cool, it just takes about four hours. So there's Tyro. And who else we got? Oh yeah, Rockjaw. Let's pull off his duds. Green Orbeez, that's cool. <laughs> it just exactly like I thought, the Primal Rockjaw. Uh, okay, Primal looks uh, lighter green. The darker green has it with me, the goo. Oh look, and they're just touching their skins, very sticky. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, and then last are Scorpius. Is there anything with that core left in him? Any Jujuman? Okay, let's go ahead and give him a good squeeze. Oh man, it's so dark. I wonder if they're really purple Orbeez. I don't think they'd be black. It could be. It's hard to see in there. Guys, I think what happened is that we're getting tons of moose toys right now. It's just a theory that I have. And we're getting, in fact, not just moose toys. A lot of toys are hitting the stores, tons of them. I think what happened with COVID and some of the shipments being backed up, I think these probably sat in some cargo hold somewhere and the batteries just rotted, died. And in the past, I'm not used to them all coming at once because they have several treasure extras. They have several kujitsus just hitting the markets all at once. So I think they just were able to actually release them and they were sitting some Somewhere. I could be wrong, but let me know. Put in the comments, guys. Put in the comments if you actually found a Corrupted Gon. You know, I don't think you can smack him in the package and see if it works, but you may want to just take a look in the package, see if the light's still on. But just know that if it doesn't work, man, Moose might have a big recall on these guys. That's sad because I really like to see when you smack it, just like those balls, the light shine. So guys, thanks for watching. And you guys see some actually new wave of these guys coming in where they actually do light up. Please let me know, put in the comments. I'd like to get one, an ultra rare. Yeah, it's ultra rare right now. I'm like, who wants it if it doesn't light up? To the real ultra rare that does. Now onto the Fortnite challenge where I got a win in his, uh, her skin. Hey, what do you think of the goose shifters, you know, going back and forth? Well, wait for it. She'll go back. She just needs a can of hairspray. <laughs> That's right, guys. Let's do this. And if you guys want to support me before you purchase anything in the item shop, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can go ahead and click on support a creator and then type in adventure fun, all one word. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out. Thanks, guys. Here we go, guys. Taking off my suit, going to Bidney. That's right. I got a crown. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Let's hope I can keep it. All right, let's check out the competition. Who must I shift? 
Shift back to the lobby. Okay, going to my favorite landing spot. Jump. Okay, I know what you're asking. You're like, dude, what's up with the Silver Surfer board? Well, you know, Silver Surfer's intergalactic-ish, you know. Either that or I got a Rick and Morty flying saucer that just doesn't fit the bill. So for right now, I'll go for surfing. Okay, my marker's off a little bit, but that's okay. I know where I'm going. Anybody coming? Anyone? Bueller? I don't see anybody, but then I've been surprised before. No invisible chest, fine. Oh, Shockwees, sweet. Okay, got an AR, that's okay. Cool. Let me go ahead and slurp and burp. And then I might as well take a potty break. We'll be right back. Okay, let's check it out. Man, it's rarely that I'm the only person that lands here. And it's rarely that over two people land. There we go. Two people land here, but I got a nog. Nice. I must shift you back to the lobby. No, oh, you're not going to go that easy. Hold on. There we go. You're goose shifted. Hmm. Bet nobody ever won with uh, three rifles. <laughs> what does he have? I'll stick with my rifles. Okay, I'll switch out my rifles for a stingy. I got an intruder. It's probably an AI. They really didn't search the house. I think they're running down to the beach. Let's go. Open up a wall here and then we'll take them out. Oh, who are you shooting at? Some up on the hill. There you is. Okay, there we go. I got your attention. You just had to figure out where I was shooting from. I am a goo shifter. I must goo you back to the lobby. Hold still. Say cheese. Say goo. Wait a second, I'll reload. I just prefer the AUG. Ouch. Okay, cool. Woofy. Miss me. Oh yes, I could use the uh, shotgun. Nice. Whoopee. Hey. We're not going to be friends unless you let me tame you. Tame you very much. Okay, storms are coming. Oh, 800 meters away. Well, I better hustle. Me bustle. Oh, pff, there's the wall of, like, death. Come on, Mr. Whiffy. I'll call you Cujo. Come on, Cujo. Come on, Cujo. Pick up the speed here. Don't make me take a med kit. Oh, jeez. There's one of your brooders. He's angry that uh, you're leaving him. <laughs> you gotta keep going. Okay, what do we have here real quick? Shockwaves. Love it. Mm, glad I got that med kit. Oh, med spray. How delightful. So let me just go ahead and med kit up here. Journey to the circle, but hey, your bro's coming, Cujo. Tell him to lay off. Bye. Oh, Cujo's running low on health, too. Will we make it? Dun, 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 dun. Stay tuned. Oh, man, I don't think Cujo's gonna make it. Oh, ouch. I could pick up his meat, but... Shockwave. Need a little bit of extra help here. It's just so far away. I should have paid more attention. Now I'm losing all my best supplies here. Shockwaves. I'm just trying to get out of the storm. Yeah. Hopefully nobody's around to pick me. Oh, hey. <laughs> Lose a few, gain a few. I know there's Colombo berries over here. And you guys ought to go back and watch uh, Jacob and I's Colombo challenge. That was one of the hardest challenges I've ever done. We actually could only win the game using weapons that Colombo shoots out of his blowhole. Nothing left that reminds us of our Colombo but these berries. Yum. I love it how it just fills you up fast. Now you can eat really fast. Okay, splashes would be nice. Just had enough of you. I don't need any more clown berries. I'll take the splashes though. Okay, I'm in the top 10. Woo! And there goes. <laughs> See if I can. Oh, I got him. 24. Woo! Oh. He's still trying to. Okay. You don't have good coverage there, bud. You don't know what you're shooting at. Okay, maybe you do. Got me once but I can't let you get away. 
Oh, he's trying to come around to get me. Little stinker. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> didn't make quite make it. Well, I know I got him down pretty low. If I could just, well, I don't want to turn around now. I just don't know who else is out there. Oh, yeah. Looks like, sounds like somebody else is. Yeah, there's another person. But that zip line. I'll let him figure a way out. Get out of this. Okay, cool. Ooh. Do I dare? Ouch. Okay, it was a small owie, but nonetheless, I don't like it when my sh Okay. Let's go up the zip line. Oh, it's kind of a mess up here. I kind of walked into a hornet's nest, didn't I? I... I ain't staying up there. What's all messy? You guys figure it out. Okay. Three other players left. Okay. And they're still pounding it out. Okay. 1v2. I gotta make my move. There he is. There the other dude is. There's two of them right here. Oh, okay. Party pooper. Oh, there you are, right up there. Who's healing? Okay. See ya. Oops. They had a good position on me, but I did some damage. Okay. Whoa. Oh, there you are. Nope. Oh, fireworks. Uh-uh. Okay. You guys work it out. Hammer it out the details. I'll take who's ever left. Ouch. Up the zip line I go again. Bye-bye. Hurry, hurry. Ouch. Okay, that was an ouch, legitimately. Let me reload here. Oh, somebody's coming. Hurry, hurry. Okay. Pancake, dude! <laughs> you now shifted into just maple syrup, man. Back to the lobby. Let me hurry and heal. Okay, 1v1. Okay, we'll splash that one out. Okay, I'm gonna have to get down there. I gotta reload first. Where are you? Here we go. Okay, search, search, where'd you go? You couldn't have uh, gone too far. What are you? Oh, you! <laughs> I don't see you anywhere, dude. No, you didn't. You didn't go down that zip line. Oh, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think they're down there. They opened the crate. Okay, if I can just wait for the storm. Come on, storm, shift my way. If not, I'm gonna have to take the zip line and drop early. If it goes the other way, I wonder where he's at. Just probably right underneath the edge of the cliff here, I bet. So it's getting tighter down below. And I think after this, it's going to start moving. If it shifts and it goes south, uh, it's going to be tight, tricky on me. But if it goes north, woohoo! The guy's going to have to come up here somehow. Or he could try the zip line, but he's going to take some damage. I'm in a pretty decent position here, I think. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Which way is it going to shift? My way? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, he's got to do something. He's going to be pinched. Okay, he rifted the go. He's coming up here. All right. Oh, he's got to hit that storm, though. I bet he doesn't have much health on him. Okay. Oh. He's on. I bet he's going to take one of these rocks at the top. Yep, he's right above me. Whoa. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, gaboo. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Okay, here we go. Shotgun. Nope. There we go. One more. No one. Yes! <laughs> Got it, guys! That's cool! Kept the crown. Was able to take him down back to the lobby. Sweet. Way to go. GG stands for Goo Game. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Woo! Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.